good day SketchUp for School users. Today I've got a cool lesson where we're going to make our keychain that we actually print on the Replicator 2X, which means we're going to use two colors. Before we start, the most important part of this lesson is to do a new model and we need to switch to the simple template millimeters. If you're working with a partner, make sure you've got them completing this step. If you're doing this, make sure you complete this step. We can double check that we did it by first deleting our friend and then clicking the rectangle tool. And when we make our rectangle, look down in the bottom corner here and our measurements need to say millimeters. Our design needs to be 70 millimeters, comma, 25 millimeters and press enter. It'll feel like it disappeared because it is so small. We can find our design by clicking the view tools and zoom to the extents of the design. This is what we're going to call our keychain base. Immediately switch to the push pull tool and we are going to make our uh, keychain two millimeters high. So just press two and enter. That is how our keychain is going to look. We just need to cut a hole in it. We are, of course, going to do that with the circle tool, but let's mark where we're gonna do it first. Click on the very front corner and follow the green line down, and let's move three millimeters in, and then let's click on that dot and follow the red axis, and let's also move three millimeters in. And then we need to find our circle tool, and on that circle tool, we need to type two for the millimeters of the circle. So it's going to be a radius of two and a diameter of four, which is great for the keychains that I give you. When you do push pull on that circle, I like to touch one of these corners. And then if we change our view by orbiting, we can look from above and see that we have cut up a beautiful keychain. Let's save our design as our keychain base. I always do KCB for keychain base and do my initials. I've done this several times, so I'm going to put a 2018 after mine. You should only have to do that once. When you save, make sure you put it in your SketchUp folder. If for some reason you don't have your SketchUp folder yet, remember you just go to My Drive and do New and do New Folder and name it SketchUp. I've already got a SketchUp folder, so I don't have to do that. Then you could return to SketchUp, find your folder, and put it in. Of course, you have to remember that you only click it once and choose select, where I actually double clicked it. With your base saved, we need to put it on the STL folder so that we can start getting ready to print it. But before we do that, we need to check our settings. When you go to the settings of your browser, go all the way down to the advanced and go all the way down to the important downloads option and make sure you have it listed to ask where to save every time before downloading. If you've already got that checked, you are fine. And you can go back to your design, click on the folder, and you want to export as an STL. When you choose export as an STL, click the desktop folder, click the MT tools folder, click the STL files folder, keep the name and hit save so that your keychain base is ready for printing. At that point, we need to start a new project. So once again, we're gonna to go to new model. And once again, we need the template millimeters. We are gonna click on our friend and delete them. We are gonna grab a rectangle tool again and make another 70 by 25 rectangle. So type 70 comma 25 and press enter. Once again, let's zoom in so we can see it. This time we're gonna do something a little crazy. We're gonna click on it and we're gonna hit delete on the middle. When we're finished, you are gonna delete this outside line as well. Right now we're just using it for a guideline. We need to put words on our keychain and we're gonna do that with the amazing 3D text tool. Put your words right here. I'm going to put HL Mod Tech just because that sounds like a cool keychain for me to have. I'm going to start by making its height only 22 millimeters because that'll fit inside my 25. And then I'm going to extrude it 2 millimeters. And then I'm going to look at the font choices. I like permanent marker. I do want my text to be filled. 
and I'm going to click OK. It asks where I want to put it, and I'm going to put it right at the corner of my shape. And then once I set it down, I'm going to click on the Amazing Scale tool, and I'm going to shrink it so it fits inside my box. Now when you shrink this, make sure you use the middle handles so that it only shrinks one dimension at a time. So let's orbit around so we can see the middle handle of my Mod Tech Word. I'm the red one between the two green ones. And I can push it inside my box. You've got to make sure that it is inside the shape. That is inside on all of those sides. It's inside on this direction as well. The only problem is I haven't left room for where the hole was. So I'm going to nudge that in just a little bit so I've got space for the hole. The last step that you have to do is to prove to me that it is the right size. And we're going to do that with the dimension tool. Zoom in and click any one of these lines on a letter and show me that the dimension is two millimeters. When you've got yours like that, you can call me over. Uh, while you wait for me, you can save it. Uh, it'll be KCW for Keychain Words. And once again, I'm going to put my initials, as you should as well. And I'm going to add the 2018, because once again, I've got a collection of these. Pick my folder, hit save, turn on your call light, and get me over here to prove that it's good. Once I have approved yours, you'll be able to click the black lines, and you'll be able to erase them, because we won't need them anymore. And if I've approved it, I'm going to save those changes. And then we need to export our cool design just like we did the other. We want an STL file. It should already remember, if you're doing this on the same day, the STL folder. And you can do keychain words with your name and save them. At this point, you are ready to print your awesome keychain. Thanks for following along. If you found this movie useful, my friends, please click that like button. If you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL My Pet, click that notification bell. If you have a question or a comment, add it below. And if you have a chance, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.